Hello and welcome to a special edition of Skydio Release Notes. We created this short video to help with the software update, which mitigates the power issue described in the Skydio notice to operators dated January 31st, 2025. While the issue is extremely rare, we want to be sure you have a successful update because this update addresses the system's safety. In this video, we will be performing an update to software version 37.2.32 for your controllers and software version 37.2.72 for your drones. Then we will use the drones to update all of your Skydio X10 batteries. Be aware that once you update to this software release on your drone and controller, flight will be blocked on batteries that have not been updated yet. The one-time battery update will happen automatically after inserting the battery into an updated drone and powering on. After booting up, each battery should take approximately 30 to 60 seconds to update. Once complete, you will be able to continue flying with that battery. The entire process should only take a few minutes depending on the number of batteries you have. It is highly recommended that fleet managers and operators perform this update in one batch across all batteries. And we recommend performing these updates ahead of time in the office, not in the field prior to any time-sensitive missions. Let's get started with the update. To update, you will need all of the Skydio X10 controllers and drones in your fleet and all of your Skydio X10 batteries. Get organized before you start so you can keep track of batteries, drones, and controllers that have already been updated. If you are updating Skydio X10D offline systems, you will also need a USB-C drive that contains the latest update. Let's briefly review the process for updating your controllers and drones, then we will cover how to update your batteries. First, power on your controller and drone. Make sure they are paired and connected, and make sure that the controller is connected to the internet. Update your controller first. Navigate to Global Settings. Information. Controller Update. Follow the prompts on screen to make sure your controller is up to date. In this case, you want to be on version 37.2.32 for your controller. Select Update. This may take a few minutes to update. When finished, select Done. Next, update your drone by navigating to Global Settings, Information, then select the drone you wish to update. Follow the prompts on screen to update your drone. In this case, you'll want to be on version 37.2.72. Select Start Update. This process may take several minutes. Once the update is complete, Repeat this process for the other drones and controllers in your fleet. Note, if you are updating Skydio X10D offline systems, you too will follow normal software update procedures for your drones and controllers, which in this case requires you update from a USB-C drive that contains the latest software versions, 37.7.1 for your controllers and 37.7.6 for your drones. Once your Skydio controllers and drones are up to date, they can be used to deliver the battery update to the batteries in your fleet. Your system should still be powered on from updating in the previous steps. If so, you will arrive at the gate screen where the first battery will begin updating automatically. This process should take 30 to 60 seconds. Monitor the gate screen. Once the battery update is complete, you will see the update message disappear and the normal gate screen will appear with the Fly Now button indicating that you are ready for flight with that battery. Next, power down and remove the updated battery. Insert the next battery that needs to be updated and power on your drone. Repeat this process until all batteries in your fleet have been updated. You can use any drone updated to software version 37.2.72 to perform battery updates. Remember, if a battery hasn't been updated, flight will be blocked until the battery has been updated, approximately 30 to 60 seconds. It is highly recommended that fleet managers and operators perform this update in one batch across all batteries. 
and we recommend performing these updates ahead of time in the office, not in the field prior to any time-sensitive missions. Once all batteries, drones, and controllers have been updated, you are ready to resume normal flight operations. Remember, all aviation operations have some risk. We highly recommend that operators use best practices and follow the Skydio safety guidelines as well as FAA and Civil Aviation Authority guidelines in order to minimize ground risk. For more information about this release, visit our release notes at skydio.com forward slash support.